Northern Lights is the first book in the His Dark Materials trilogy by Philip Pullman, which features on the BBC 100 novels book list in the adventure section. I was pulled into the book by the City of Oxford, which is ours, but not ours. They use ambaric power, not electricity. They travel in airships. And there is the Magisterium, a religious organisation that has great power. And most strangely, everybody has a demon, which is a part of themselves, but separate physically in the form of animals or birds that talk. I was also drawn in by the character of Lyra, who's resourceful, brave, loyal, and a bit headstrong. And she has um, a lovely, more sensible demon called Pan. And as the book goes on, uh, the setting becomes more magical. There are armoured bears to the north. There are tribes of witches. You can read Northern Lights as an adventure, as Lyra goes off to rescue a friend who's been kidnapped. But there are deeper themes as well, um, about souls and sin and free will and the power of religious organisations. At the end, there's a cliffhanger to lead you into book two, The Subtle Knife, where we meet kind and steadfast will. Theoretically, this trilogy is for young adults, but I first read it when I was in my 30s. And my sister, who's in her 70s, has just reread the trilogy during lockdown. It appeals to all ages, and each time you read it, you can find more in it. And now there is another trilogy set in Lyra's world, uh, The Book of Dust. So I'm eagerly awaiting part three of that. You can borrow His Dark Materials in print or an audio book from our libraries, or you can borrow it as an e-book on our Libby app.